Social media content creation. Oh my God, trying to come up with content, get it all collected, get all the links, get all the images, get all the stuff, and then you work with the VA and everything just even gets more confusing. So today I want to show you how you can simply and efficiently handle your social media content creation in Airtable. Hello and welcome to the Airtable edition of my Tools for Non-Nerds. Right here on my YouTube channel, I share how-to videos as well as lesson learned videos. So make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't done so and hit the bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video for you. Today, I wanna show you how you can simply, efficiently, and totally streamline handle your content creation in Airtable with everything you need for it. And even if you work with a team and it's not all just you, it's right there. It's perfect. It's easy. It's easy to find. We even going to be able to mark if it's evergreen. Has it been posted? Has it not been posted? You know, all of those moving pieces that go into content creation, especially with social media and you want to post every day or twice a day and ah, all those things going on. I will show you how we handle it internally here at Pacific Crest Media and Ask Evie. And you will be able at the end to download my base and jump right in. You don't have to test. You don't have to try what works. You can just copy my base and go straight for it. So let's go over on my screen and I'll show you how we're doing all of that. Now you get to see my social media marketing base in Airtable. This is not connected to a form. There is no public form for any submissions or anything like that, like we have in the Pinterest group board base or the guest blogging base. This is solely for internal use with my social media manager and me, as well as this is optimized to feed into a go uphold. So we can export this as a CSV and import it into a go upholds so we don't have to copy and paste and copy and paste and copy and paste. You know how it goes? Yeah. There's a reason there is two dates in here. Um, a go upholds needs to understand what you are telling it. It needs the date in this kind of form. Airtable unluckily has the downside of me not being able to tell them that I need two digits for the day, two digits for the month and four digits for the year or two digits for the year, which is why we have a simple task here and it then feeds into this. Just on a side note, I hope they're going to be working on it. It just is. We then have a column that is revisit, meaning my social media gal needs to do something about it. Right here is room for time to publish. 8 a.m. in the morning, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. What time do you want to publish these at? We then have a topic column, notes from Casey to me if we need to do something. The actual post call to action. We also then have check off marks. Is this evergreen? Is this not evergreen? Has it been published on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Facebook group, or are there any additional attachments? If you can see, you will get the newer one. You will get this layout, which is even better adjusted for download in a CSV file to upload it to your scheduling software. Then it was in February. We have just updated it. You will get this new version. And right here in January, you can see, check those off, which is evergreen, meaning I can look for those check off marks and I can go back and I can say, okay, this is evergreen. Let's throw this in my evergreen funnel and have it just republished over the next five months. Don't have to think, don't have to reread everything. I know this is evergreen and it can get shared over and over and over again. I also just recently added ideas on topics. If things pop in my head, it's right there, things that are happening. We also have a tab right here for my Facebook group research, meaning when people request access to my Facebook group, they have to ask, they have to answer a couple of questions. 
I copy and paste those in here to have those answers. Group prompts, meaning standard everyday evergreen prompts that I can use in the group. We're just working on updating those. Those are still the old ones as well as office hours. I just started office hours in my Facebook group. People are able to submit questions to this. And in this case, there's actually a form connected to it, just like you've seen on the Pinterest group boards. And when people submit their question, it will populate right in here. And now you have seen how we internally handle social media content creation. Now, Go jump in the comments. How are you doing this? Or go grab the link and just grab the base for yourself and put it to work. Let me know in the comments. Does it make sense to you? Do you need more help? Do you want me to drill more into how to work these forms? Comment below and we'll talk soon.